Okay, welcome back to my channel JV Graphics. Don't forget to sub click on the subscribe button. Okay, so let's move. We're going to design a simple logo today, another simple logo, and learn how to add texture to our logo to beautify it. So you open your pixel lab, you give it a background color. Yeah, choose a color for it. I'll choose no, I'll choose black. Let me choose. I'll choose black. Then you click, you select a shape. Always I like the circle, you know. Logos normally are in circle shapes. So it's white. Okay. Then you position it in the middle using the relative position tool. Okay. I don't want it to disturb me, so I'll lock it. So you click on the layer tool here, then you click on the lock button to lock it. Okay, I'll just copy, copy. You see, it's of the same color, so you change the color to black. Okay, black is cool. Now I position that one too in the middle. Okay. Now you made your work. You made your work. You see, when you are merging, you get you come here down here. You see, you have this uh, uh, mark tool here. You just click on that. Then you select the two boxes. Then you come there and then click on this. Two, the one in the middle this then are you sure you want to make the selected object yes so you click on ok now the two shapes have become one you can see it here so I just position it well as usual and then I erase color so you come to erase color this click on it erase color you see the white is gone and it's not the white i want to erase it's rather the black in the middle so you see we have some one here i click on it then i click on the color picker then i choose the one i want to pick the black then you click on your check mark here okay so the black is gone in order for you to see it well let me give it a different background color so that you can see now you can see the black is no more okay so right now it's the white ring that i need you see so in order to get that ring i have to insert a shape to what i have already so i click on shape then you merge it so you make sure you put it in the white ring you minimize it and then you match you come here again you match okay so after merging you can now add texture if you don't add a shape to the ring you will not get the ring shape but rather when you add the texture it will cover the whole place so anytime you want to add texture just add a shape to whatever thing you have over there okay so i come here i click on texture you click on texture you see it's sending me to my gallery then i come to my images i have a folder named texture so i click on it now you choose the texture you want so these are all textures that i've been using you can join my whatsapp page and then you'll be getting all these textures for free yes you will get the textures for free so let me choose this then i click on the check mark you see 
it's only the white ring which have been covered so i click on this this is a ratio too so you enable it and you can scale it you see it's on 100 percent so you can scale it okay now i have my ring here i have to add my text to it or oh, let me emboss it first if I say emboss to add light to it, so I click on emboss. You see, Android version 10 have this problem. Okay, so when you manipulate the size, it will be all right for you. You see, it's okay now. Then my bevel, it's off. It's okay. So you manipulate this is ambient light. I click on it. Sorry emboss so ambient light spectacular hardness you see this helps your work look real okay i think it's cool it's cool by me so i position it in the middle and i lock it now i add my text so text JV in the middle. I go to size. You come here. Size increase it. Okay, it's cool by me. Then you come to style. We have style here, the B. Then I bolden it. You click on the B to bolden it. You see? So you can click here to enlarge the JV. You put that in the middle using the relative position tool okay if you are not familiar with the tools go and watch my tutorial on how to use pixel app okay you will be familiar with all the tools so when i tell you that you should click on this it will not be a new thing to you okay so go and search for the tutorial on how to use pixel app okay on my channel you will get it there it is well explained so this is what I have here, JV in white, then I'll click on text again, then I write jewelries, jewelries, yes, you will ask why I'm using jewelries always, it's because I'm into jewelries, so you come to your size, 35 is okay, then you come to the font always you have to choose a font for your work this is this font is okay for me if you don't like the font you click on your font they are already made font here font my font these are already the, uh, my downloaded fonts you see this are my then you have recent here it means the font that i just used a while ago okay so the font i am using is okay for me so i click on cancel now I come here, bold. When you click on bold or B style, that is the style. The first one is bold, the second one italic, the third one is underline. I just want to bold in it and then give it an italic form. That is all. So I position that too in the middle. Okay. Let me push it up small. Then the JB2, let me push it up small. It's okay. So, this is, and then you see, as I started, I chose a black background. So, you click on this, you go to color to select a background color for your work. I will choose black. And then, boom, this is my work. So, in a few minutes, you are done with your simple logo like this don't forget to subscribe to my channel and like my videos leave your comments over there and share to your friends and family for them to benefit as well okay this is david graphics and i always offer you the best thank you and god bless you for watching bye bye